Hello and welcome to English News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnagar. The news in detail. The second dose of human trial of Go vaccine has been administered to seven people, including a woman in the Gilder Khan Multi Speciality Hospital. As per information, no side effect was seen among them in the last 14 days. Hospital Director Dr. Chandra Shikhar Gilder confirmed that the vaccine is safe. Around 12 centers in the country have been selected for the human trial of the Go vaccine made by Bharat Biotech by the Drug Controller General of India. Gilurka Hospital in Nagpur is included among them. The Central Admission Committee has announced the start of the second phase of class 11 admission process from witness time. As per the information, the students can fill option forms in this stage. The phase will continue till August 22nd. The student who have already filled the part 1 of the application form can now fill the part 2 of the application form. Under this, they can select the college of their choice. Those students who have not filled part 1 of the application form till now, they can also participate in it. They will have to fill the application form first, then the second form. The provisional merit list of the candidates will be announced on August 23rd. After the release of the list, students can lodge objection till August 25th. After considering the objections, the final merit list and allotment of college will be announced on August 30th. The students can get information in their registered mobile number through SMS. Students will have to take admission in the allotted college from August 31st to September 3 to confirm their admission. Nagpur Municipal Corporation has demolished the illegally constructed bungalow of Sahil Sayyid. The mastermind in the Honey Trap audio clip leads case of Nagpur. The drive is being carried out under the supervision of NMC officials. The anti-encroachment team of the Nagpur Municipal Corporation started demolishing the unauthorized construction of a bungalow on August 12, which falls in Sainath Mandir, Baba Parit Nagar, Mangapur. The construction of the 4,000 square feet G plus 2 structure bungalow was illegal and as a result, the entire bungalow is being demolished. The civic administration of the city has issued notice to slum dwellers of Chumnadas Road situated in Pajuria and Dr. Park 19 to demolish their houses within three days. As per information, about 50 to 60 families are residing there for the last 40 to 45 years. A strong representment in prevailing among the slum dwellers over the notice of the Nakhon Civil Corporation amid the pandemic. The point to be noted there is that the slum is notified in the authorized slum list of the state government. The resident of the slum had got photo buses distributed by Napa Municipal Corporation in 2005. Currently, a survey is going on to distribute ownership lease papers to them. Due to COVID-19, the survey has not been completed. Recently, a meeting of citizens under the leadership of Corporator Prabhat Daya Shankar to solve the grievances of people. He asked the citizens to send an application to the additional commissioner of the Adibak zone with a photocopy of documents. He said that the notice given by the Nagpur Municipal Corporation Administration is unjust as per the rule of the slum protection of Maharashtra government. In view of COVID-19 situation, District Collector Ravindra Thakare appealed to the citizens that this year the Ganesh idol size for mass level should be 4 feet and for household festival should be 2 feet. This year, people should install metal or marble idols. Eco-friendly Ganesh festival is preferable. The immersion of Ganesh idols should be avoided and people should immerse their idol in the next year if possible to protect people from infection. Ravindra Thakare appealed people should celebrate Ganesh festival in a simple manner at their residence and not on a mass scale. The guideline except urban areas included for mass flavor festivals, the Ganesh Utsav Mandal are required to take prior permission of a municipal corporation, councils and a local administration as per the planning. The pandal should be small in size and according to the rules by the administration, the Ganesh festival is in a respective houses should be celebrated in a simple manner. No decoration is required. Under the leadership of Bala Sahib Ali as Prakash Ambedkar, the national president of the underprivileged Bahujan Aghari, a free Bajau Angan was held on Wednesday at Hindi World Bhavan Bus Stop, just in a square. Today's protest was organized at this district and Taluka level across Maharashtra. Ambedkar himself led the protest in Nagpur, addressing the people on this protest. Bala Sahib kept the state government on high alert. Maharashtra used to be a state that instructed others, but now it has become a state that follows the order of others. The government allows private transport if people do not get corona in private transport. So the government should tell people in government transport how they got the corona. 
At the same time, Barasaheb also gave a warning that today's protest is only to warn that people's lives are not made easy. We will start a massive protest after 50 dollars. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please do take good care of yourself.